What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about something pretty darn interesting that came out for Gotham Knights a few days ago. This was actually sent to me over on Twitter by Tryhard Godly. I really appreciate his support as always, and this is a really good point he makes. He talked uh, to me a little bit about it as well, but it's basically going to the IMDB. So if you go to the IMDB for Gotham Knights, it's uh, oh, it's updated. There's a lot of people on here. Um, now, a lot of these we already knew, right? We see Elias as the Penguin, as the first one on the top left. You can go through the names, right? Alfred, Barbara, all of this stuff. But two of them stand out. One of them, though, really, really stands out, and it's Talia Al Ghul, Mylene Din Robic, and there's no way I'm pronouncing that name right, but she has been listed for Talia Al Ghul. The other one is Renee Montoya that I also kind of uh, spotted, but you know, a lot of these people, like the people who are voicing the main four, we knew. We also knew about Elias as the Penguin. Now, what's funny about this, not even funny, what I guess is very interesting, is the last time this happened. So you could say, well, Alex, what does this have to do with anything? Well, the last time this happened, we got the trailer for DC Phantom. It was a couple uh, weeks after that this, uh, well, I guess this replica already happened, and Penguin was revealed. So the last time this happened in a big way where we got a person linked to, or an actor, okay, linked to a character in the game was right before DC Fandom. Now, was that a happy coincidence? Honestly, could have been. I'm not saying, you know what I mean? It's, it's definitely within the realm of possibility. So I'm not saying that a trailer is coming out in the next couple of weeks. But what I am saying is, well, two things. Number one, Talia seems as good as in the game, which is interesting, right? You can chalk up another villain. Now, there's no Ross, so, you know, we're going to get, or a Raish, depending on, you know, which, uh, which pronunciation to use on any given day. But no, Ra's al Ghul, you know, he's not there yet. Uh, maybe he will be, maybe he won't be. But we do have Talia. We know Penguin. Uh, there's obviously been a lot of other speculation. I made a video specifically about Joker. I, I truly think, even based off of the uh, action figures, the, the McFarlane toys, that the Joker will 100% be in the game so you know there's a lot of villains i think left to still be obviously mr freeze uh to be discovered that that i guess aren't already confirmed but talia you can add to the list and again and and, and i was thinking of doing this as almost a separate video but i want to talk about it a little bit here as well i truly think they'd be very dumb to let this lead up and post release of the batman now we're not there yet the the second part of it but you know the batman releasing march 4th comes out a couple days early if you do that fan thing you know all of this stuff i really to to let the batman go to let march go and you don't say a thing about gotham knights to me is not wise now i get that batman is dead they've stressed that one or two times but i just feel like you kind of should lean into it a little bit because he is in your game at least a little maybe just in flashbacks whatever and i still do believe the game comes out like towards the end of the first half of this so uh, june july august somewhere in that range i think that's when you know gotham knights releases so i can't imagine you let this go so you know uh, I don't want to promise anything. Uh, we're long past the days of, of, of me even doing that, right? But I do think if you were to combine both things that we know or can speculate, right? Last time this happened, number one, turned out to be true. Penguin was in the game. In this case, I think that 100% means Talia is in it. And number two, this happened last time right before DC Fandom, which resulted in trailers. Now, it was because of DC Fandom. You know what I mean? It wasn't because of, oh, it was two weeks after. But... Could that mean that within a few weeks we get another trailer and Talia's in it? I think it's honestly possible. I don't think it's guaranteed. Uh, she doesn't have to be like the central focus of the trailer. I think honestly it was kind of a happy coincidence that Penguin was kind of like the narrator of you know that uh, DC Phantom trailer. I don't think that has to happen with Talia. In fact, I don't think it will at all. But I think she would probably be in it. Okay, so let me know what you guys think. In the comments below, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on. If you guys want to follow me anywhere else, all my social media is in the description along with our Patreon and YouTube membership. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next video.